Hey guys, so I'm back with another video for you. Today I was super inspired by my new sweater. I got it at Forever 21. So I came up with this rose gold E esque um, mauve toned smoky eye. I entirely used the new Anastasia Beverly Hills um, self made palette. It is beautiful. And I also used my new baby love, my Joseph Colors Truffle. I am obsessed with the shade. It's the only shade that like I won't mind touching up because, like I said in my last video, um, or two videos ago, I guess at this point, that I hate reapplying lipstick and this stuff works like a charm. So, um, all the products that I'm going to be using today in the video are going to be listed in the down bar. But yeah, that's what I'm going to do. My battery is low and I have to go to school. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do so and join the fam. And until next time, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, so I'm gonna go straight into the eyes with the palette today and we're gonna grab the color Sherbert and I'm taking it with an Eyes 200 brush from Kiko and I'm blowing that out in my crease. Um, I'm keeping the color really diffused. I really didn't want any harsh lines or anything super dark in the crease. I don't know why. At this point, I didn't really know what I was gonna be doing with this palette. It was a very kind of, um, you know, sporadic situation while I was doing my makeup. I was like, what was I gonna do? this entire time so I'm just blowing this all over the crease not really going very far up towards the brow bone and keeping it slightly collected next thing I'm gonna do is take the color hot and cold and this is a very nice light brown shade with gold reflex in it which makes it very unique um, it kind of picks up whatever colors are around it and because sherbet is a little more pink tone it kind of picks up like a rose gold or a mauvey kind of shade so I'm putting that all over my crease I'm not going up anywhere past the crease because I want to keep it very matte um, but yeah I'm putting that all over my lid so the next thing I'm gonna do is take um, sherbet on that same eyes 200 brush and reapply it to the crease just because when you know even though I didn't take hot and cold up past the crease that color kind of got lost and I didn't want that to happen but then I'm gonna take sherbet on a more dense shadow brush and I'm gonna run it under my lower lash line I didn't end up really doing anything with my lower lash line but I figured that I would have something there just so it wasn't there next I'm gonna take hot chocolate which is this really rich shade it really reminded me of hot chocolate the entire time I was doing it I was craving the craving was real and I'm just putting that in the outer corner just to create some depth um, I always end up doing this with every eyeshadow look that I do I find it really I I'm I don't know I don't think I've ever done an eyeshadow look with just one shadow without anything darker in the crease I don't know is that just me anybody else next I'm gonna take these two lighter shades called treasure and hot chocolate and, and I'm gonna highlight the inner corners of my eye I don't know I don't usually always do this but today I felt like being adventurous I don't know hmm. Hmm. Like I said, sporadic makeup situation. Um, next, I'm gonna be coating my eyelashes with some mascara, and this is my YSL Baby Doll mascara in the black shade. Um, I this was one of the days where I couldn't find my lash curler and kind of panicked, but I knew that the YSL Baby Doll mascara is the only mascara that I can use, and it will actually hold the curl of my eyelashes. Um, but yeah, no, I really, really like the YSL Baby Doll mascara. If you're ever in the mood. To splurge on a mascara do it with this one next I'm going to be warming up my face and I'm taking my NARS and Steven Klein uh, face palette blush palette situation whatever you call it it's their holiday collection for 2015 and I'm gonna be taking this with my elf um, powder brush I'm really upset because I washed this I washed this brush once and it's already falling apart on me and I'm really upset about it but um, I like Laguna don't get me wrong but it really didn't give me the bronze that I was expecting it to give me um, I feel like it's a little more cool toned which could be beneficial for contouring and you know actually sculpting up my face but 
um, I decided to go in with my Kat Von D shade and light palette to you know chisel my face a little bit more and this middle shade is honestly my favorite it's probably gonna hit pan first and I'm gonna be really sad um, you know I don't know a little birdie told me that they're gonna be coming out with single um, refill pans for the bronzer and the highlighter shades so hopefully that's true because then I'll be saved but if that's not the case then I'm in a little bit of trouble you know you know um, next thing I'm going to do is go over that bronzer I mean both of those contour bronzer shades with Mac an extra dimension skin finish and sh shaft of gold Wow, I can't even speak I've tried to like record this voiceover 8 million times I think I'm on take 16 now mm -hmm. and I'm really just gonna bronze up the skin with this it really adds such a healthy glow and then next I'm going to take Mac an extra dimension skin finish in oh darling I love this highlighter so much and I literally am gonna bathe myself in it you can see myself go back like 8 million times and reapply this because I'm never glowy enough you know the goal is to be a human disco ball and that's what I'm gonna achieve so yep that's the situation Next, I'm going to take MAC Lip Liner in Spice. This is probably one of the few MAC lip liners that I actually own. I'm not really a big lip liner person. I'm trying to get into it. Like I said, lipstick has never really been my forte. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm trying. I promise. Um, but Spice is a perfect match to the lipstick that I'm going to be wearing and the lip stick dance party oh okay um, the lipstick that I decided to use is a liquid lipstick and it is truffle by dose of colors um, unfortunately at this very moment it's sold out but it's part of their permanent collection so it's bound to come out eventually but these liquid lipsticks are probably by far the best liquid lipstick formulas that I've ever tried I have a couple more colors coming in the mail and I'm super excited about it let me know if you guys want to see a dose of colors I guess based video if you want I'll do swatches even though I don't particularly like doing them, but you know, for you guys, anything. Um, but that, guys, is the end of my tutorial. I really hope you guys liked it. I loved using this palette. Um, I plan on doing another look with it with, I guess, more non-neutral looks, but this is very wearable, very work appropriate. For those of you who are just starting out in makeup, I would definitely recommend it. Um, but yeah, like I said, all of the foundation and concealer information is going to be in the description box below. Let me know if you guys like the shorter makeup tutorials where you know I just focus on the eyes I feel like they're a little bit more effective because you know you get to see more of the eyeshadow and all that kind of stuff um, uh, the main reason why I did it like this is because my foundation routine is pretty much the same so I figure I wouldn't bore you guys but um, I'm gonna go I really hope you guys like the video and until next time I will talk to you guys soon bye But as always, um, if you haven't scrapped the, the, the <laughs> um, I used entirely.